Hi there, I'm Todd from YourMusicCoach.com and in this short video I'm going to talk to you about how to change the key of the song you're singing using a capo. The first thing you have to understand is what a capo does. A capo, when put on a guitar, shortens the length of the scale. So everything behind the capo is not making any more sound. And in order to do that effectively, you're just going to need to know the names of the notes on the two largest strings. And the reason for that is, is that the bottoms of all the first position chords, meaning the lowest note on a C chord, the lowest note on a G chord, the lowest note on an E chord, are all taking place on the two largest strings. To know the names of the notes across those two strings, you're going to need to know one important thing, which is where the half steps are in the musical alphabet. Now the musical alphabet is simply A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then the, the alphabet repeats again. In that scale, there's going to be two places where we're going to jump a half step instead of a whole step. And that's between B and C and E and F. And the way a half step works on a guitar is it's the distance between a dot and a space or a space and a dot. And all the other jumps are going to be dot to dot or space to space. So here's an example of how the notes work on the E string. There's E open, F is on the first fret because it's a half step. Then it's a whole step to G, a whole step to A, a whole step to B, a half step to C, a whole step to D, and a whole step to E. And the reason why knowing this is important is because when you put the capo on, the third fret for example, and you play a G chord, the note that's actually being played, or the chord that's actually being played, is B flat because of where the bottom note in the chord is. For more great tips and tricks, check out the links in the description of this video. And I look forward to seeing you soon.